Resurgence Ranked has been out for around two weeks now, so I'm going to break down the good points, the bad points, and whether or not it's worth your time playing it. Enjoy. Now, when Resurgence Ranked was first announced, I exercised a lot of scepticism about it, purely because Resurgence is the perfect mix between Battle Royale and traditional Call of Duty multiplayer. It's fast-paced gameplay. Uh, you basically don't have to think an awful lot about rotations or anything like that. You kind of run and gun. And Ranked is a competitive mode with a lot more at stake than just normal pub matches, and I didn't know how it was going to play. However, for the most part, I think it plays very, very well. Now, I've always been a big map player. Even when Caldera and Rebirth were at their peak, I was playing Caldera over Rebirth. I always think that getting a pub win on a big map is much more rewarding than one on Resurgence. That's just me. I'll hold my hands up and say it. I'm a big map fan ahead of Resurgence. However, getting Resurgence rank wins feels just as rewarding as, for me personally anyway, a big map win. Uh, I really enjoy the sort of methodical aspect of it, the rotations, you know, you're not trying to chal every gunfight, you're trying to make sure everything's methodically done. And the end zones are absolutely wild. There's always about three or four teams up in an end zone with maybe multiple players on those teams. And um, you've got to be really strategic about it all. And it makes for a great, great mode. When Fortunes keep first dropped back in 2022 i hated that map the audio was appallingly bad on it i didn't really like the layout of it i thought it was a lot of high ground choke points i just really did not like the map at all however they've reimagined fortune's keep to be sort of hit by an earthquake i think and um, basically now there's a massive crater open in the middle of the map and um, a lot of the towers have been sort of toppled and there's a lot more cover as you run over the open ground and for me the map plays great it's probably one of the better resurgence maps we've had in a long long time it's definitely better than the sheikah island but then again what isn't better than a sheikah island and playing ranked on it feels really good if it's a really really good ranked map and i'm interested to see what they do with that going forward whether or not they do something like apex where every season of Apex Ranked, there's a different map for it. If you're going to continue with Resurgence Ranked, you could definitely do it on something like Vondel or Rebirth when that comes out, or even a Sheikah if they were to give it a better colour palette, because that colour palette just makes me feel so depressed. Given that it's a ranked mode and it's a competitive mode, for me personally, I feel like the ground loot on this map is appallingly bad. The weapons, uh, there's still Modern Warfare 2 weapons in, in the ground loot for whatever reason. I think it's the ISO 9 or whatever it is. That's still in the ground loot. Why? We're in Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3. Get rid of all of the Modern Warfare 2 guns out of the ground loot. No one wants them. They're very much being nerfed at the ground anyway, so they can't compete with anything else in the ground loot. Just get rid of them. And also something that is really, really bad is the lack of plates, but the overextension of kill streaks. Now, they have actually tweaked this a little bit. Um, they've got rid of mosquito drones and reduced the spawn rate of counter UAVs. However, I pop open three or four boxes in a row. I'm nine times out of ten going to find either a precision airstrike, a mortar strike, um, or maybe a counter UAV, maybe less so now. But no plates. I can open three, four, five boxes in a row, get one plate out of five boxes. And in a mode that's competitive, and given the fact of the matter is that Call of Duty has such a quick time to kill, it just becomes a total war of attrition where the fact of the matter is you get no plates it's very very hard to get plates and at the moment there is a bug where when you kill players in the game they would drop three plates and then you've got less chance of getting third parties that is a bug at the minute in the game so the players aren't dropping plates uh, off rip either to get three plates it needs sorting out more plates and maybe a little bit more cash as well now ranked is a team based mode you can't solo fill into it it is only trios therefore you have to play with two teammates but what if your squad isn't on what if you feel like solo queuing well back in our Mazda days solo queuing and rank was a lot of fun and you would still get some decent sr with playing with randoms however let me tell you this and i don't say this lightly solo queuing on resurgence ranked is quite possibly the worst Call of Duty experience, or one of the worst Call of Duty experiences I have ever had. It's probably up there with playing Call of Duty Ghost back in the day. Honestly, it's so, so sweaty. Because of the player count is so small, obviously there's only 51, 52 players in a map. Um, and obviously the SBMM is quite high. Yeah, it's just not an experience. I've probably played, I think, 10 solo queue games. And two of them were good. Now, what obviously is a ranked mode, and to go up in ranked modes, you need to gain, in this mode anyway, SR, which is basically five for a kill, five for an assist, and I think you get three for a squad kill, I want to say, and then plus you get points for placement as well. The higher you go, the more your deployment fee is, and more negative SR you've got to make up before you start getting positive and start earning. That is how ranked modes work. However... Call of Duty rank modes, and as we know from Al Mazra, is that if you get a player down and you get a shot on that player while they're down, you will get the maximum five for an assist. Call of Duty have now just really changed this uh, very, very recently, actually midway through the rank season as well, which is really weird, where these taps no longer exist. You have to get shots on the player before they're down to get the full assist. Otherwise, you're just getting a squad mate kill. Now, for me being 
uh, just about high platinum. I think I'm platinum three at the moment. Going into diamonds, that's not a problem because. For the most part, my deployment fee is very, very low. However, higher level players, and especially that I'm going to be moving through Diamond and hopefully going to be getting a Crimson push on the go. Iridescent might be out of my stretch, but we'll give it a go. That these sort of taps of getting like 5 SR per like, you know, downed kill isn't going to exist anymore. And it's going to be a lot harder to try and get through those ranks, which I think is going to be a bit of a struggle going forward. Um... They've also, with Resurgence Ranked, introduced a death fee, where when you die, you sort of lose SR. You didn't have that in Almazra Ranked back in Warzone 2, and you can come back as many times as you want, providing the player had, providing your teammates had 3,000, you know, in cash to, to buy you back at a buy station. You could die five, six times in a game, but as long as they could buy you back, it didn't matter. And for me, personally, I think they want to get rid of the death fee and maybe lower the deployment fees, so this new SR system can take full effect. However, it does feel good, though, and uh, for the most part, Going from the small, the the low, the lower ranks definitely is ideal with how the SR players now, as opposed to using taps. So is it worth playing? Well, for me personally, I'd rather have something to grind for than playing just normal pub matches. So personally, for me, it is worth playing. However, you've got to think that you've been playing ranked ever since Warzone dropped, purely because of Call of Duty's skill-based matchmaking system. You don't have to have something public to show for it. Uh, you know, we all have a rank according to this algorithm anyway, and um, we just don't know what that rank actually is. However, I kind of wish they dropped big map rank first. Um, we've known that Fortune's Keep and Rebirth Island are coming back to the game ever since Call of Duty Next before Modern Warfare 3 dropped. Um, and a lot of Call of Duty, you know, bigger Call of Duty players and a lot of Call of Duty news accounts are like, there's an announcement coming today that's going to break Call of Duty Twitter, it's going to be this. And it was Resurgence ranked, and for the most part, I don't think it really broke Call of Duty Twitter. If they wanted to make a big impact on something, they should have brought out, with Season 2, big mapped Urzikstan uh, ranked. That should have been the first one they should have brought out. They then should have just brought out Fortune's Keep as the sort of resurgence, you know, new resurgence map. You know, we've reimagined it. Then when you bring out Rebirth Island and later down the line, I think they should have brought out ranked, resurgence ranked with Rebirth Island purely because of how much nostalgia that map holds for people. It was in Blackout. You know, it's been obviously right. It was the most popular re, um, resurgence map throughout Warzone 1 until they got rid of it. Um... So I think they should have brought a ranked with that. However, it does feel rewarding. One thing I am concerned about, though, is going forward, obviously we have Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer ranked. Then we now have Resurgence ranked. And then we're going to bring out what's going to obviously be big map ranked. Um, and I don't get how they're going to differentiate it for Warzone. Uh, purely because you're going to split your player base even more. You've got to think that at the moment in Warzone, there is obviously the big map Battle Royale playlist, which is the traditional Battle Royale as we know and love. Then there's Resurgence pub matches playlist. Where we've got, you know, I think at the minute there's Fortunes Keep, Solos, Duos, Trios, Quads. And then we've got Vondel Quads on that playlist as well. And then we have, um, obviously, Resurgence Ranked as well. Bringing out another Ranked mode to go into that playlist is going to further split the, play the player base. I don't know how it's going to work. Plus, if I'm, say, grinding Resurgence Ranked and I'm like platinum or diamond or crimson or whatever and then i think oh you know what i fancy playing some big map round do i have to then restart all the way back down at bronze or do i just level up at the same time in both of them be interested to see what they do going forward let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i don't really ask for subscribers uh, but if you have enjoyed this video please do get, uh, consider subscribing i think we're 15 away from 200 It'd be great to hit 200 very very soon appreciate your time i'll catch you next time